Right, so this is one we gave a queen to. And we've brought a poly nuke because we thought we needed to go down. At the moment we're dithering. I still think that they probably should go down. They can keep themselves warm easier in a poly nuke. Let's just hope the queen is still in there and they haven't killed her. They haven't killed her. She was doing all right last time we looked. But as we said, they're unpredictable. Oh, we've got brood. Lots of old broods. So we've got oh, but they're they're they're, they're very backfasty drones. I assume they were backfasty to start with these ones. Yeah. Ah. Right. So that's one of brood. I mean, if we've got more than three of brood, you can't really put them down, can you? Yeah. Two of brood, there's the queen. But there's something a bit odd about that queen. It hasn't got a yellow mark on it. She does look very buckfasty, and that's the second one where we think they've taken the mark off. That's two of brood. Three of brood. And um, Danny Ackrick said that her yellow mark seemed to disappear. What do you reckon, my chicken? Put them down. Yeah, I agree with you. Right. Put the strap under. Okay. I think the strap is under my cherub. Under the... Oh, if you want me to put it under the... We'll do. Now I always get this wrong, I always pull the wrong one. Right, so it's this one that I've got to pull. Oh, Queen is in, excellent. Well, I missed that. Queen's on that first one. She's a nice big Queen. I think she must be the one we've brought. Oh, she is the one. Yes, but the yellow has rubbed off. Right, we do this with the polynukes. Um, strap them to the stand because obviously they're very light so that's the three we brewed now you've got to find you can take that messy bottom off makes sense I think um, we should move that now and move this one into position. Have we got the front? About half. That'll do it. Oh, she's on that one, or oh, he's just where she was. Yes. Now we're going to pick the ones with the best stores. That one at the back's not, no it isn't, I can see that one's better. I actually have some brood on it, which is a bit odd. This one. Certainly got a bit of bee bread on it, and that's important, isn't it, to give them bee bread? Because there's not much pollen about at this time of year. Okay. So now just we're going to move this. Or have you moved that? I moved that. Aha! I missed that. I suddenly thought, why have I strapped this just here? Are you going to shake them out? Yeah. But not in? Not in. Okay. So, Stuart, while I was not looking, moved that over to there. Now, he will shake them out and they will go here because this is where the hive was. 
probably should uh, shake the actual hive as well. So still a few drones in there, but the odd colony does go, well, I really like drones. And then he will move that away so that people don't go in there looking for their queen, because obviously it smells strongly of the queen. And we'll take it away with us tomorrow if we possibly can. So there we are. You can see the Varroa floor clearly in that one. There's the Varroa mesh. I prefer this with the ones with the finer mesh. I think that probably means they can drop through easier than some of the ones that have much thicker mesh on them. Right, so there we are. Let's hope they do well. We will feed them soon.